I'm here today in front of this old country church because it represents my life before I became a Christian. I was always in church, Sunday morning, Sunday night, Wednesday night, youth meeting, Sunday school, special meetings, praying, reading my Bible, all these religious things uh, that I was doing. Uh, I could wrap them up in one word, I guess, uh, obligation. But the problem with obligation and good works is that these things don't change your heart. And although I had never committed murder, uh, God saw my heart and the hatred that I had towards my brothers and sisters. He saw the things I had stolen. He uh, heard the lies that I had um, told. And so, although I looked good on the outside, uh, my heart was far from God. And so in my early teens, I realized that I needed to personally um, put my trust in Christ. I needed a savior. I couldn't save myself. And so at, at a youth uh, rally, I went forward to trust Christ. Um, later on in Bible college, I, I had some doubts and, and I reconfirmed the, that decision and was baptized and dedicated myself to Christian service and teaching. And so now my life uh, is involved in doing good things, not to be saved, but because I am saved. Um, before my life was one of obligation, uh, hoping that I had done enough good things. Um, now I, my trust is in what Christ did for me on the cross. He paid the, my uh, price that I owed. He paid my debt of sin. And putting my trust in what he did changes my, changed my heart. And I trust that you will do the same. If, if you are trusting in the good things that you're doing to try and merit God's salvation, it's a life of misery. And you never know if you've ever done enough. Putting your trust in what Christ did and what he did alone for eternal life is what will change your heart and give you that peace with God that passes all understanding. And I trust that you will do that uh, today.